Hello, this is John with Eagle Tree Systems, and this will be an introduction to setting up waypoints on the vector. First things first, you must have software version 12.00 or higher installed, and this will have firmware version 2.06 or higher for the vector. This will be a multi-copter frame type. Multi-copter and fixed wing frame types are the same as far as setting up waypoints. However, multi-copter has a few more options and commands available. So we go over here to Waypoint Setup and click on that. This will bring up an expanded view of the Earth. I like it in satellite mode, but I also turn on labels to make it a little bit easier. So we'll just go ahead and zoom in here and find something to use as a region of interest for this demo. And let's see. All right, we'll just use this uh, clump of bushes, this dark spot here. So we'll just click here for our first waypoint. And you'll see it will zoom out to show you the geofence that is set at one mile. Just click back uh, or zoom back in here. And we'll just go ahead and set waypoints uh, around this region of interest. But I'm going to put uh, waypoint three right on top of the region of interest. I'll explain that more in just a minute. And we'll stop there. So I want waypoint 3 not to be a waypoint to fly to, but I want it to be a command to make it the region of interest. So I'll go down here and select index 3, change it from waypoint to a region of interest, and instead of next waypoint as the region of interest, we want it to be a location. So that's it. And also waypoint 10, we want to change that to a command so I'm going to change that to return to home and land yes. So what this is going to do now is when you enter waypoint mode it will fly to waypoint 1 then 2 and then execute the region of interest command which will have the craft yaw towards the region of interest. It will stay yawed at that region of interest as it goes through all these additional waypoints. After waypoint 9 it will execute the return to home command and land. Once you've got all this set up how you like it, you hit apply, read these instructions. Once you agree to them, if you agree to them, hit I agree and we'll comply with all the above instructions. You can select do not show this message again if you like and hit OK. Once you hit OK, it uploads it to the vector. We're in offline mode right now, so it didn't upload anything. You can save this session for later if you'd like, save it on your computer. You can load another session that you've already saved. Everything else here is pretty self-explanatory. Insert command, delete selected, delete all commands that are on selected. You can also select show full screen and show you the full screen of the map. And permit low altitude waypoints. Make sure you read about that in the manual and read this pop-up to understand what that means. You can also change many of these commands to, uh, or these waypoints to many different types of commands. Uh, take off, land, disarm, delay, jump, return to home, or just as a regular waypoint. We'll be doing some additional tutorials to give a little more info on that, but they are covered in the manual. So play around with them, see how you like to use them. If you have any suggestions on any other features you'd like to see or any bugs that you find, please let us know. Go to uh, our website, open a support ticket, and let us know. And stay tuned for some additional tutorials and additional features that will be coming out for waypoints. Thanks a lot and have fun.